be glorified. Come on, everybody, sing this building, sing in my life. In my life. Yes, Lord, be glorified. Be glorified. Oh, be, be glorified. glorified. In my life tonight. In Father, get the praise. Come on, get the honor. We come to tell you thank you. We come to tell you thank you tonight. Come on, let him have his way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All the glory, all the honor, amen, belongs to him. Amen. Amen. Certainly we give deference to our jurisdictional bishop. Come on, let's give him a hand. Amen. The right reverend. Bishop Kevin E. Knight, Sr. At this time, we're going to have a mission and vision statements by District Missionary Designee Pamela Blackwell, followed by the Supervisor of Women, Mother Dr. Mary E. Wiggins with the welcome and greeting. Let's receive them both by saying amen. Amen. Good evening. The mission, as a jurisdiction, our mission is to lead humanity into a genuine and growing relationship in Jesus Christ to worship God in spirit and in truth. The vision statement, the vision of New Jersey Third is to empower people to worship God and make disciples for Jesus Christ. Moreover, to provide training and resources for pastoral leadership to minister in the communities we're called also to satisfy the organizational duties and biblical doctrines of the Church of God in Christ Incorporated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We give honor and glory to our almighty God, our sovereign God, we give honor. And we thank him for this day, because this is the day that he has made, and we find pleasure and rejoicing and being glad therein. We, uh, we look around today, some faces, we see, and some faces are missing. So, of course, we glorify God. And the ones who are missing, we are praying for them, even if they're on social media. But it is good to see your smiling faces today. Amen. We give deference to our strategic leader, the only esteem, Dr. Kevin E. Knight, Sr. Amen. He who em 
impacts the lives of so many via ministry. He is, of course, the jurisdictional bishop of New Jersey Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. We thank God for our special guest speaker tonight, the Honorable William T. Cahoon, prelate of the New Garden State Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction. We thank God for our own Bishop Evans, Auxiliary Bishop, God bless you. Thank God for our administrative assistants, Dr. Arthur U. Cook and Pastor Jeffrey Parks, Superintendent Javon Allen, and my pastor, Assistant Superintendent and Chief Adjutant, Pastor James Nathaniel Williams, Sr. We thank God for all of his people, all of our leaders, all of our pastors, our elders, our ministers, we thank God for each of you. And of course, we cannot go without thanking God for our own very amazing First Lady of New Jersey Third. It's called Mary Knight. A rose with any other name is yet a rose. So she is yet mother, our first lady, a woman of grace, our one and only Lady Mary L. Knight. God bless you, the one and only assistant supervisor, Anita Spence for always standing by my side at home and afar. You are unique and very special. Bless you, Executive Board, District Missionary Julia Jones, District Missionary Designee Evangelist Pamela Blackwell, and First Lady Parks, we appreciate you. We acknowledge our guest tonight and we thank everyone for being here. All of our visitors, we appreciate you. We recognize our guest, Assistant Supervisor Diane Kill Atkins. God bless you. Our adjutant mother, Lena Jones. God bless you. Most gracious in our sight is the entire Department of Women of New Jersey third. Give yourselves a hand. We appreciate you. And our beautiful music department, the youth department, and its leaders, and all of God's children. You are somebody in the eyes of God because you are made in his image. So we welcome you to join in tonight and worship God to the fullest. We love you. God bless you. And that includes those face to face as well as on social media. God bless you, love you. Thank you so much, Mother, for that welcome and greeting. You know, the Bible reminds us that we are helped overcome by one another's testimonies. So at this time, we're going to have, if it had not been, but for his grace, a testimony by Deaconess Missionary Bernice Nicholson. Let's receive her by saying amen. Amen. for this opportunity. I just come to give God all the glory and all the honor because it all belongs to him. And I think I have about five minutes, but I want to sing a little of my testimony. When I look around, God is blessing me. When I look around, God is blessing me. 
when I look around, God is blessing me. He's blessing me. opportunity to stand right here because I have ne I have never stood here before but thank God for 90 years walking in the Lord 90 years the song says nobody but Jesus Woo! Hey! I got a right to thank you you know, before I got this call, the Lord has spoke to me before through a scripture. He's going to use my tongue in this season. Because I'm not a public speaker, but when the Holy Ghost there, you can speak. Because it's not used to God in you. I thank God for being a member of Faith Temple, Reverend Joe Scott's my brother and my pastor. He was a great inspiration. He always told me, be faithful. And he called, he was faithful. He was an example setter. But I thank God for life, health, and strength. Yeah. Thank God for my lying down land to get up in my right mind. Yeah. It's the mind, but people don't have a right mind. But the right mind is in Christ Jesus. But I'm excited. I'm excited to be right here because I don't have to be here. I could have been asleep of death, with it, but God said, I'm not finished with you yet. Thank God, I say, when I celebrate my 90th birthday, I never thought it because I outlived my whole family, 13 of us. 13. I have three sisters, young and three older, and I'm in the middle. So God's not finished with me yet. Because I say God will use me when I get 100 years old. Oh! Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited about you because he's only keeping, he told me he will keep me in perfect peace. With my mind stayed on him. Yeah, I'm a real one. To God be the glory for all you've done. God got everything, and everything belongs to Him. And I and I'm not. I don't go to. I go to the doctor once a year. Some people in doctor's office all the time. I said, No, I'm not a sick person. But God is good all the time. He's keeping me in my right mind. I can still moving around. She can run. She can drive. She can take my shower. She can clean my house. That's no little thing. That's a big thing. The song says, if it had not been for the Lord, who was on my side, where would I be? Woo! I'm excited, yes, I'm excited standing right here. I'm not representing faith, I'm representing Jesus. <laughs> he is the best thing could ever happen to me. I was out there like everybody's running on river, but God says time. Time to turn around. I'm so glad I know him as my Lord and Savior. But I'm glad I know him as my keeper. Yeah. We are living in the last day, but we are blessed. We are living in a blessed time. Oh I am excited. You can talk, walk, run. Yeah. That, that look, that's a big thing. Yeah. But I'm just so grateful to stand here. Like I said, Bishop, I thank you for the privilege to stand here. You give God the glory. Now, because you didn't have to call me, but God wants you to call me. But God had warned me before. But I'm excited about Jesus. Y'all pray my strength to the Lord that I won't talk holy, but I will live holy. Yeah. Talking one day, living is another story. Yeah. Woo! Have a story to tell. God brought me out like you know. And he's a deliverer, too. Yeah. I used to smoke. You said I smoke, I used to drink and did other things too, but because of God, I'm standing here right now. Because of him, no other reason. Woo! When I look around, God is keeping me. When I look around, God is speaking me. When I look around, God. Thank him. Hey! I want to thank you. Hey! For keeping.
I said it's a good thing. It's a good thing 
to give praises unto God. I believe I heard that Deaconess Missionary said 90 years, so much more than three scores plus 10. Come on, this is the Lord's doing, and it's marvelous. Come on, church, it's marvelous in our eyes. Come on, when I think of his goodness and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I give God praise. I give God honor. Hallelujah. service along before my coattails get pulled. At this time, we're going to hear from this fabulous choir. Let's receive them by saying amen.
Administrative Assistant, Dr. Arthur Cook, as he will lead us in the Ministry of Giving. Amen. Come on and tell the Lord, thank you in the house. Let's praise him. He's worthy of all praises. Blessed be the name of our God. We serve an awesome God. The spirit of the Lord is in this house. Hey, uh, come on, somebody agree with me. The spirit of the Lord is in this house. And we come to celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. God bless each of you all tonight. It's such a privilege to be in the presence of of Almighty God. And I heard the testimony of our sister, 90 years that God has blessed her. And when we look around, each of us, each of us can look back and count the miracles, count the blessings, amen, that God has blessed us. And because God has blessed us, we tonight will show gratitude. We will thank God in our giving, amen. We're giving unto the Lord tonight. Amen. I'll say it again. Think about the goodness of the Lord. Amen. He didn't have to, but he did. We're not buying a blessing, but we're telling God, thank you. Amen. Is that all right, church? We're blessing the name of the Lord in our giving. Come on, I need some noise in here. I need some appreciation. I need to say, yes, we're giving in Jesus' name. Glory to God. He's worthy of our praises. And our executive board, you know what we're doing. Executive board, 150. Executive board, 150. Pastors, 100. Amen. And you, you know what the offering is tonight. So we're going to bless God in our giving. Again, we're not given to get, although God will give. But we're given in appreciation. Is that all right? Amen. We bless the name of the Lord. Before I call the representative of uh, Bishop Cahoon to come and stand beside me, amen, on this evening, I want you to know you can give through Giveify, New Jersey 3rd, amen, and press Giveify and let us give as such. God bless you, representative from uh, New Garden State. God bless you as you come, amen. God is good. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. Come on, tell the Lord thank you. I want you right now, just listen to the and as you tell the Lord, thank you, listen carefully and see what God will tell you to give. God bless you. Bless you, sir. Go ahead. Praise the Lord, everybody. Like I say, praise Brother Cahoon. Praise the Lord, everybody. I can't see your smile under those masks, but I can imagine you smiling right now. Come on, let's give God a praise in here. Praise God. The Lord bless you. Uh, we're going to receive an offering. I'm going to ask other pastors from our jurisdiction. Our bishop is here, Bishop Evan. We'd like to come and stand. We would like to be a blessing to the new, uh, to third jurisdiction on tonight. And we don't have to be long about doing it. We're going to ask, you ready for me to have the congregation to stand? Let's stand. Now, I heard the Ella Cook mention to the third, you know what is expected of you, Mr. GQ? That's your secretary. I said, that's your secretary the third. Yes, sir. He has already spoken to the third jurisdiction. I'm going to ask that the New Garden State be very liberal. Come on, stand with me, son. Uh, Dr. Akins, you, everybody know Superintendent Administrative Assistant White. And do I have any other? Come on, Brother Gordon, Deacon Gordon. Quickly, come with some money, everybody. <laughs> we want to do this quickly and swiftly. The executive pastor of Smith Memorial. 
Come on, son, stand with us. Who else do I see out there? God bless. Everybody is going to give, and we're going to give liberally, and we're going to do it quickly so that we can move on. Is that right? How many in here love the Lord? How many spent some time with him today? Everybody that spends some time with God today, lift your hand and give him a praise. Hallelujah! I need y'all to count this real fast. Everybody that's part of the New Garden State, come to these gentlemen over on this side. And then he well wishes Bishop McCombs, my friend, is here on tonight. And we're going to acknowledge him in a more definite way. Uh, later on in our service. All right, you ready to give everybody? Uh, the assistant, the assistant. Uh, no, I'm talking about my assistant, Sister Diane Atkins, the assistant of the Department of Women. Mother Atkins, come and stand with these men also. This is the assistant designate. Hello. Huh? Givelify, just let me know what your total is of Givelify, and I'll be appreciative. God bless quickly and swiftly. First of all, I want to thank God for our bishop, the Bishop Kevin E. Knight, Sr. And for the wonderful people of the third jurisdiction for inviting us to come. God bless that young man right there. God bless you, son. He's behind the camera, isn't he? God bless you. See me, I got something for you before I leave, all right? Well, I want to bless you, all right? Is that okay? Well, I want to bless you. No, you talk, you, 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 you. God bless. God bless. Let everybody say amen. Father, we are thankful for your many blessings your love, your kindness, your tender mercies. We pray that thou would bless us as we come to give in a very special way. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank thee for this privilege. Amen and amen. God bless you. Usher in your hand. Lead them out however way that you uh, get your offerings. Continue to do that. I just need a total, man. At the, at the, I need a total. Quickly. Consider it done. 
God bless you, New Jersey Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, Church of God in Christ. I think we can give ourselves a round of applause. This is our 28th annual Holy Convocation, 2022. And our theme is Facing Life's Challenges by Faith. Don't we bless God for our wonderful, esteemed, jurisdictional bishop, Kevin Eugene Knight, Sr. Let's praise God for our leader. This is our opening night of our Holy Convocation. We thank God for Bishop's guest. He is here, none other than Bishop William T. Cahoon, prelate of the New Garden State Jurisdiction Church of God in Christ. We're looking for a mighty word from the Lord. And on tomorrow night, we will gather together again at 7.30 p.m. And the messenger for tomorrow night is none other than Pastor James L. Holmes, Amen. pastor of that great church, Greater Harvest Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. Also, we'll be having Holy Communion. Bishop is asking for women to dress in your white and men, your civic attire. On Friday night, someone say Friday night. 7.30 p.m., we are gathered together again. Friday night service and our bishop, Lemuel F. Thuston is our guest for that night. Yes, he is the chairman of the General Assembly of the Church of God in Christ worldwide. We're looking forward to hear from him that night. And on Saturdays at 9 a.m., someone say 9 a.m., we're going to gather again for chat with the chairman. He'll be with us again. That's a question and answer time to ask him about anything concerning the General Assembly. That will be held continental breakfast at 9 o'clock, and then we will meet at 10 o'clock. All of these services, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and our gathering on Saturday will be right here, Jurisdictional Headquarters, Heavenly Temple. They say if you want to go to heaven, you can go from Heavenly Temple. And on Sunday is our Unity Day. Sunday again, Sunday. Unity Day celebration service, and we will hear from our leader, Bishop Kevin E. Knight, Sr. That'll be at 4 o'clock at the Wells Cathedral, Church of God in Christ, 672, Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. Boulevard, Newark, New Jersey, where our chief adjutant, Pastor James N. Williams, Sr., is the host pastor. Again, 4 o'clock. We want to get there on time and get a parking space because we want to hear from our leader. Amen. Asking all pastors, if you have not seen Administrative Assistant Parks or Administrative Assistant Cook, please see them with your financial assessments. If there's any local church announcements, please give it to me. That way we can be, uh, we can announce it for you and that we can celebrate with you whatever's going on with your local church. Everybody have a program? <laughs> Programs look good, don't they? We're asking you to please take those programs home and tomorrow bring them back with you. And then take them home and Friday bring them back with you again. We'll have some more programs for you Sunday. And if you need any flyers, we have more flyers if you want to spread the word and invite others to our holy convocation. And on October the 7th, Friday night, October the 7th, will be our inter-jurisdictional unity meeting, unity celebration service. And that's headed by the New Jersey Council of Bishops, where our bishop serves on. And, of course, Bishop Cahoon and Bishop McComb serves on. Thank God for him. And that will be held at 7.30 p.m. at the Wells Cathedral Church of God in Christ. And our guest speaker is none other than the presiding bishop of the Church of God in Christ, Bishop J. Drew Sheard. So we want to come together that day and worship the Lord together. Thank you. At this time, we're going to ask Superintendent Dr. Javon P. Allen if he would come at this time to present our bishop.
God bless you. We consider it an honor and a privilege to stand before you to introduce to some and present to others the leader of New Jersey Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction, a man of God, a man who's leading us to higher heights and deeper depths, a man who has been chosen by God for this season. I'm going to ask each of you to stand to your feet. As our leader, Bishop Kevin Eugene Knight Sr. neighbor said, neighbor, if it hadn't been for God on my side, no telling where I would be. Some of us were drug addicts, we were street brawlers, we were card shufflers, we were drunkards, but God saved us, delivered us, and set us free. Come on, let's give God glory and praise because of his love towards us. Please be seated in his presence. I learned how to learn what a G, what G sounds like. <laughs> I'm glad to be in the house of the Lord. How about you? All right, let me find somebody who's glad to be here. How many of you are really glad to be in God's house? There was a time when we couldn't go to church. Remember that? They kept the bars open, but the churches were closed. Now we're here together, worshiping and praising God. What a glorious privilege it is. When I think about the war even that's going on in Ukraine, well, let me just bring it home. When I drive down Garfield Avenue and I see the homeless under the bridge or pull up to a, a, a traffic light and someone is panhandling, I have to pause and thank God for his goodness towards us. That's right. The fact of the matter is, COVID could have taken some of us out. But God, God in his infinite mercy and grace allowed us allowed us to assemble again in the house of the Lord and um, to be quite frank with you these, these, these are not preliminary words they're actually my testimony um, you can ask any member of Heaven Temple I'll cry in a minute just thinking about the goodness of the Lord and all that he's done for me for my soul cries out hallelujah thank God for saving me. Yeah, I was one of those guys who did some drugs and did a whole bunch of stuff. And, um, but if it wasn't for the grace of God, 
I wouldn't be standing here with a mic in my hand, Brother Evans. And I was zipping around and still trying to sing on the choir on Sunday. Still trying to play in the band. And God, but God was merciful in that he didn't cut me off. But he allowed me a chance to repent. And I thank God for his mercies and grace towards us. Good to see yours. Well, I can't say smiling faces. Bishop of the South Jersey jurisdiction, Bishop Tyrone McComb. Amen. Thank God for, for being here on this evening. You may be seated, for this is the day that the Lord has made. Amen. And we've already been rejoicing. Amen. But the word is coming, and we've got even more rejoicing to do. Thank God for the opportunity to be in your presence. Amen, we're all one family in the state of New Jersey, and so it's just good, amen, to be with family on this evening. Thank God for your bishop, my friend and brother, Bishop Knight. I appreciate you, thank God for you, your friendship, thank God for just who you are in our lives. And just thank God for your first lady, Lady Mary Knight, amen. Thank God for you. Amen. You already know how much we love you, and we love you both. Amen. Thank God for your supervisor, women, Mother Wiggins, and assistant supervisor, Mother Spence. Amen. It's just good to be with family on this evening. Amen. As I saw the, the information about the convocation, we were coming to support, as we all do. We try to support each other, as a family does. And I never really get the opportunity to visit and support Bishop Cahoon because our meetings are always the same time. But when I saw on the flyer that Bishop Cahoon was speaking, I thought, I've got the opportunity. Amen. And so Bishop Cahoon, amen, we're just glad to be here also to celebrate with you, Bishop Cahoon, the senior bishop of our state. Amen. And we're just thankful for his wisdom and guidance that he even shares with all of us as bishops. Don't take that for granted, but appreciate it very much. And so to your supervisor in her absence and your assistant, supervisor designee, amen, Mother Diane Keel Atkins, good to see you on this evening as well. Amen. And so we're just here to celebrate and to fellowship together, and we're looking forward to what the Lord is going to give to us in the word. Just want to also leave my offering for Bishop Knight, a special offering, and also an offering for Mother Wiggins. Amen. We want you to know we support you very much. And I have a special offering also for Bishop Cahoon because that's what we do as family. We love each other. May God bless you for the rest of your meeting. And may God continue to pour out, amen, his anointing and special touch over your leader, Bishop Kevin Knight. Come on, let's praise God for him. One of the things that we're trying to accomplish is to show you, New Jersey, that we're not divided, but that we are together. My father used to oftentimes say, men disagree. It's fools that fall out. And in the kingdom, you have to be able to disagree without being disagreeable. And to stand here and to have Bishop Cahoon on the platform, Bishop McCombs on the platform is such a joy and such a blessing. 
we want you to know that we love each other. We're also grateful for Bishop Evans being in our midst. That's a very, very special event coming up Saturday. And um, we orchestrated the chat with the chairman so that we can be out in time and be over to help him celebrate his special day. Come on, let's appreciate him again. To all of the elect ladies of the Lord, our supervisors, assistants, and each of you today, um, I want to just hasten to put the preacher up. Is that all right? We've been blessed by the choir, and they're going to come and give us a sermonic selection. But um, I don't have to sell Bishop Cahoon. Uh, we've known him for, I, I'd say, over 47 years or so. Um, and uh, we're grateful that God has blessed us to be together and to work in the kingdom. Um, some of his accomplishments, as I sought to get some of his background, he's a family advocate, counselor, mentor for families, churches and communities at large, appointed as chairperson of the New Jersey Council of Bishops, Serve as the Kojic International Exec on the International Executive Board for the Board of Bishops and founder of the New Jersey Kojic Leadership Empowerment Conference. And he's, 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 he rubs shoulders with the governor and he has accomplished so many other great things in the community. We appreciate him coming to New Jersey Third. <laughs> He's brought a great complement of men and women with him. And Doug, um, I want you to just do me a favor before he comes. Um, will you all just stand with me for a second? Just, I know, quick, just stand with me. And I want you to look at a member of the New Garden State, New Jersey Third. Look at one of the New Garden State members. Just look at him. Look at him. That's, turn around. You got some brothers right there. Um, we got some one stand. Are you looking? Okay. And I want you to say welcome to New Jersey Third. Come on, tell somebody else. Welcome to New Jersey Third. We're a family. Come on, let's praise the Lord together. We're family. You might be seated. And we want this, we want this to raise ring all across the state that we're family. The time that the enemy is trying to create division, divide churches, we want to send a signal that we're together in him. Is that all right? Let's take it back home. And many of us are uh, from our uh, various jurisdictions. Um, some are not here. We want, and I hope they're listening. New Jersey is one. Four jurisdictions to accomplish the tasks of the kingdom in the various areas, but we're one family. Amen. Amen. All right, um, the choir is going to come give us, no, is your choir here? Choir is going to give us, uh, as my father would say, a brief selection. After which, the next voice you will hear will be that of the Bishop William Theophilus Cahoon, the prelate of the New Garden State Jurisdiction. Choir. Thank you. 
Gracious. Gracious. Gracious Father, we thank you for the privilege and the opportunity that you have given to me to share with the people of God. We don't take it lightly, but we ask of you to continue to be with us. And give us a word to speak to these, your people that will inspire us, that will encourage us, that will lift us. Bless the leadership of this jurisdiction and continue to download vision in him as he lead the people of God. Bless his dear family and all of the members of the third that you have given him to preside over. We're thankful for all of the ministers, pastors, our supervisors, the missionaries, evangelists, deacons, mothers, all of the lay people that makes up this great jurisdiction and the people of God everywhere. Bless us now. We will give you praise and glory. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we pray. We receive it by faith. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. You may be seated. The Lord bless all of you. We take this wonderful privilege that have been given to me by your bishop to come and to share with you a word of the Lord. The Bishop Kevin E. Knight Sr. Uh, is a very special anointed vessel of God. He said 47 years, I've been saved for 60 years. And I've been knowing his family ever since I've been saved. And as the older folk would say, that wasn't yesterday. But we worked together over the years uh, in the youth department. And some of you are witness to that, that uh, we worked together and now is no exception. We thank God for Bishop McCombs, jurisdictional prelate. <laughs> jurisdictional prelate of the Southern Jurisdiction, State of New Jersey, University professor. He's in charge of that campus down there in Camden for the university, one of our state universities. We are so proud of Bishop Knight and Bishop McCombs. And we pray God's blessings on them. The, our newest bishop in the state of New Jersey is Bishop C.H. Evans. Thank you so very much for that rouse and applause. May the Lord bless you as you celebrate him. We will be celebrating him on Saturday uh, at 12 noon uh, at the Smith Memorial Church of God in Christ uh, in Newark, New Jersey. You are invited to come and to share. I will be speaking and sharing with you there on Saturday. Have a full day Saturday, but the Lord is with us. Amen. Well, um, we thank God for all of the pastors and superintendents and administrative assistants of this uh, jurisdiction. Your executive secretary, God bless Elder Peterson, and uh, the Lord bless the first lady of this jurisdiction. I pray not to be long. I want to 
ask those people, all of those that have come with me tonight. We just closed our convocation. I told Bishop, I said, Bishop, I'll do this for you. I'll do, I'm serious. First, I want to appreciate and thank him for inviting me. But he knows that after, and Bishop McCombs knows that after the convocation, we want to go somewhere and lay down and relax and kind of get some rest and try to get ourselves together. But we're here because we were asked to be here. Amen? Where's the little man on the camera? Hey, man, come on, get this. I'm going to bless you. Do you know what to do with that? Huh? Okay. God bless you. I want to leave an offering for our bishop on uh, his official day Sunday. I will not be uh, available as I shared with him earlier on uh, that Sunday. And uh, we are going to try to cut into some other relaxation to be with uh, Bishop Knight because we always want to support what he's, whatever he's doing. And I want the jurisdiction, thank you so very much, choir. I want the jurisdiction to support your bishop and whatever that he attempts and whatever that he brings to your jurisdiction, you support that because that's his vision for you, the people of the Lord. Elder Hewlin, I want to take this. This is the offering for our bishop. Whoever receives this offering, amen. I have an offering for Mother Wiggins. Also, Mother Wiggins. I have an offering for uh, the First Lady. First Lady, you know, they always leave in offerings. Um, you can put that in her hand now. <laughs> I have an offering for the assistant department of women, Sister Spitz. God bless your heart. I looked in the envelope, but I don't have any more in here, so. The Lord bless all of you. Um, these are some crucial times that we are living in. Elder Eric Hayes is about one of the most talented young men and his is Lady Evans here? Oh she's not here with tonight. She just hit my mind. So any, oh yeah, I was going to ask everybody that those of you that did come with us to New Garden State and made that sacrifice after you, we got finished with y'all last week <laughs> and you're here tonight. Would you stand to just greet New Jersey Third? God bless all of our pastors. God bless. Brother Alexander, I saw Brother West. Where's Brother West? I saw him back there too. Others that have come along. God bless you. Is that Dick, uh, Dr. Raynard? If that's, God bless you. And our pastors and deacons. God bless you, the deacons who have come. Deacon Scott and Deacon uh, Gordon. Amen. These are some very special people of our jurisdiction. And we love them very much and we respect them highly. And we thank God that you have come along on this evening to be with us. I'm not going to, I try not, uh, I'm not going to say what, nothing. Let me shut up. What a befitting theme that uh, our bishop has given and shared with us. Is Shante here? Oh, Shante not here. Shante and uh, time out. <laughs> and uh, Kevin Knight Jr. Uh, I knew them before they knew themselves. 
And uh, I've always loved to bless them. And I started out with a dollar. <laughs> it was many years ago. I think I went to about 50 or 100 now as everything got older. I love them. They're so fine. They're very fine young people. Their mother and father, we thank God for them of being great examples to them. Say amen. All right. Um, let me go to the word of the Lord and uh, be, get out of your way. Those of you that the Lord has been good to, can I hear you give God some praise right now? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Facing life challenges by faith. Do I have anybody in here that are facing some challenges in your life? If I do, I believe somebody need to stand. If you, all oh, y'all kind of scared to stand. You, if you, you're facing life's challenges, let's give God a praise. Give God a praise right now. Give God a praise. The Lord has been good to you. Look at somebody and say, you were born for the times. You are born for these times. Everybody cannot go through the times that we are going through. But God has kept you and me. Do I have anybody here that would give God a praise that you've been blessed? He's brought you through these times that we are living in. Give the Lord a praise. Give God praise. Now listen. I'm not going to be your cheerleader. This is not your bedroom that you come to sleep. This is nowhere that you to come and relax. You're not in your prayer. Your, your, uh, uh, what's that room that you have over to the side? You're not in the family room now. You're in God's house. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Let's give God some praise. Oh, praise the Lord, everybody. You may be seated. Our faith will be tested severely. Sometimes it is tested severely by fire, sickness, by poverty, fear, frustration, and sometimes even death. Real faith will not burn in the fire, trouble in the lion's den, nor panic in the valley of death. Not despair when the wolf of poverty is at the door. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verses 8 and 9 is our text. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you, the challenges that you face in these days and times that we're living in. These are times that we have never experienced before. You've never been a part of the times that we are living in today. But I want all of us to leave here tonight to believe and to receive that in spite of the times, God has made me for the times. Look at somebody and say, we can make it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. In spite of the times. Uh, I did not have to leave all of us here, but he has blessed us and left us here. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. As though some strange thing happened unto you, but rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's, hallelujah, sufferings. Tell the Lord, thank you. That when his glory shall be revealed, he may be glad also 
with exceeding joy. Tell the Lord, thank you. Your faith being sorely tested looks to many like a defeat. When in God's sight, it is a great victory when we overcome. The scripture says of Joseph who became the godly prime minister of Egypt, whose feet they hurt with fetters. He was laid in iron until the time that his word came. Some of us are going to meet great challenges in these times that we're living in. And some of us are going through times right now, unprecedented times. Some of you, praise God, might feel like Elijah. Praise the Lord. Tell the Lord thank you. That after he had called down fire on the mountaintop, after he had challenged Jezebel's prophets and called down fire and God's fire, Burned up everything that they had there. On. You know the story. But as he left, she sent word, Jezebel, that witchcraft worker. We don't have any witchcraft workers in here, do we? Witchcraft workers and warlocks, there's a special place in hell for folk that practice witchcraft, controlling people. Tell the Lord, thank him. God is on the case. Don't think that you are getting by in any kind of a way. First of all, as I said, that to be alive in these times, don't take these times lightly, my brothers and sisters. Don't take these times lightly. These are some times, as long as I've been in this world, I have never, ever seen the times like we're living in. And some of you can witness to the same thing. Never have experienced these times. But God's got all of us, and the reason why is because you were born for these times. Tell the Lord, thank you. He, they hurt him with iron on his feet. He was in prison. Joseph was. He was in prison. They put fetters on him. He was bound in prison. And he was to, to see him and to understand and realize and know the story, you might not have thought he would get out from where. See, sometimes when men have uh, the say-so over your life, they think that they're God. But let me tell you something. Man is not God. God, as long as you know that God is on your side, you don't have to worry about a thing. It might look like God is not on your side. You might feel like that God is on your, not on your side. And I'm sure that when Joseph was in prison, he might have thought, Lord, where are you? My God, stole in slavery, sold in slavery, put in jail, falsely accused. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. But God had a plan. Look at somebody and tell them, God's got a plan for you. Tell the Lord, thank you. They hurt his feet and his soul was pierced also because of the fact. But he trusted in God. Regardless of the times that we are experiencing and going through in these times right now. My word is to you to continue to trust God. Tell the Lord, thank you. Joseph was in prison as a criminal. Hallelujah, for years unjustly. But in one day God delivered and promoted him after he was thoroughly, thoroughly, let everybody say tried and tested. And he was found completely faithful to God. Tell the Lord, thank you. These are testing times, my brothers and sisters. These are exceptional times. These are some turbulent times, but our faith, look at somebody and say, thank God for our faith. Listen to this list of devices God uses to test and to try us uh, and to bring us through. Psalm 66, verses 10 through 12, for thou, O God, hast proved us. 
Thou hast tried us as silver is tried. You know how silver is tried? Through the fire. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell him, thank you. Thou brought us us into the net. Thou laid this affliction upon our loins. Thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water. But thou brought us out into a wealthy place. Do you have any witnesses in here? Tell the Lord, thank you. Some of us have gone through some trying times, challenging times. We've experienced, as I said before, times that we've never experienced before. Read those verses of scripture carefully. These incidents of trial are intermittent experiences of a true child of God. Tell the Lord, thank you. Thou, O oh God, hast proved us. Thou hast tried us as silver. Tell the Lord, thank you. Uh, in the fire, thou brought us, hallelujah, into the net. Uh, oh God, thank you. Thou laidest affliction upon our loins. Uh, thou hast caused men to ride over our heads. Tell the Lord, thank you. If you have never had the feeling of being overwhelmed, keep on living. Just to show as you yet live in this life, you will get to that point and that feeling. But the best thing about it, you might feel overwhelmed, but you're not overtaken. There's, difference, there's a difference of being overwhelmed and there's a difference in being overtaken. God will help us. He will see to it that we will not be overtaken. Because my trust, do I have anybody in here that can identify with what I'm preaching about on tonight? Tell the Lord, thank you. But it looked like that you were not going to make it. Excuse me, I have a cold. Tell the Lord, thank you. But God in his infinite wisdom, hallelujah, looked on us and brought us through. And we give God praise right now as to where we are. Do I hear a praise in the house? Now, my brothers and sisters, we will be tested. We will face challenges in this life. But here is the clincher. Listen to me carefully. God delights to test us. <laughs> Tell the Lord, thank you. Here is how God looks upon our trials and testings. First Peter 1 and 7, the trial of your faith, the test of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perisheth. Tell the Lord, thank you. Though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. What are God's promises regarding these sore and severe testings? I said, God delights to test us. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. When thou passest through the waters, he said, I will be with thee. Tell the Lord, thank you. When thou walkest through the fire, thou, hallelujah, shall not be burned. Are you listening to me? Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Tell the Lord, thank you. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And so then, Lord, as the scripture said, by this I know that thou favorest me, because you have not allowed my testing, you have not allowed my enemies to triumph over me. Tell the Lord, thank you. Also the Lord Jesus promised, for he hath said, I will never leave thee. I will never leave you, nor forsake thee, so that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. 
Woo! Good God. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Always remember, saints of God, there is an award. There's a difference in an award than a reward. Tell the Lord, thank you. For if you keep the faith, keep pressing, and believe in God, and diligently seek God, he said that he is a rewarder. Uh, hey, I wish I had some help up in here. He is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Tell the Lord, thank you. Trust in him some of the time. All times. Ye people, the word of God said, pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Word of the Lord say, God is our refuge and strength. Do I have anybody in here that has ever poured your heart out? Do I have anyone in here that ever wet your pillow with tears? Nobody knew the problem, the trial, the test that you experienced. But God knew. Hallelujah. I said that God delights in testing you and me. You want to see what you're made out of. Tell the Lord, thank you. Some folk cannot stand to be tested. No, no, they, they cannot go through some of the things. Some, some of the things that some of you sit in here that have gone through, it would have killed some folk. But God, but God, but, but God, but God, but God. I said God, God, God. I say God, God. God, the omnipotent God. God, the omniscient God. God, the all-knowing God. God, the immutable God. God, the everlasting God. God, the omniscient God that knows everything. Tell the Lord, thank you. He delighted in testing you. My God, some of us have passed the test. Tell the Lord, thank you. If I have anybody in here that believe that which you have gone through, the test that you've experienced, and that God has delighted in you, hallelujah. If I have anybody in here that will give God praise for the challenge of your faith. Now, tell somebody, I'm yet here, I'm still here, I'm still here, I'm still here. Tell the Lord, thank you. And so we must trust and obey. Great faith is a God has two amazing characteristics. Perseverance and obedience. Tell the Lord, thank you. I believe that most of the people of God in here tonight, that you have perseverance. My brothers and my sisters, if you don't have the want to in, sometimes a little trial, a test can bowl some folk over. Tell the Lord, thank you. Some of the things that some people are talking about that they're going through and experiencing, I lost my cat. I don't know where my dog is. I don't know what's happened, this and that. So they, that, 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 please, God, help us. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell God, thank you. But when you experience sickness, say God, that almost have taken you. I wish I had somebody up in here. Do I have anybody here that have almost, hallelujah, almost, if I have anybody here that almost left here, you ought to stand to your right now and give God praise that he brought you through it. Come on, you, you ain't praising God like you're glad to be here. You, you're not praising God like you thank him. You're not praising the Lord that, to show him that God, I thank you. We have the need, my brothers and sisters, of patience. Tell the Lord, thank you. But be ye doers of the word. And not hearers only. Deceiving your own selves. We cannot have the true faith of God without being obedient. And possessing patience. Tell the Lord thank you. 
Some of you that are sitting in here, you've been praying and asking God for certain things. And you have patience. And some of you have prayed and God have given you patience. And God bless you with just what you prayed and asked God for. Because you had the patience. God bless you with patience. What happens sometimes, a lot of people get impatient. Sometimes men are looking for wives and then they get the first thing that comes along. Sometimes young women are looking for husbands and they get the first thing that comes along. And they wish, praise God, when they first met them, they could eat them up and marry them. They wish they had eaten them up. After what transpired and what happened, tell the Lord, thank him. It takes patience if you expect for God to work in your favor. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell the Lord, thank you. Job is a classic example, the perfect example of patience. Tell the Lord, thank you. God picked out Joseph. Look at somebody picked out to be picked on. Job, Job was picked out. God picked him out. When the sons of God came to present themselves to God, uh, the devil came right along with them. I wish I had some help up in here. Where are you coming from, Satan? To and fro, up and down. I'm trying to find somebody. God put him on the auction block. What about you and me? Are there conversations in heaven about you and me? Does God put us on the auction block? Does God say, have you tried my servant White? Have you tried my servant Peterson? I wish I had some help up in here. God put Job on the auction block. You know the story. How that God allowed the devil. But one thing that the enemy revealed to you and to me. It is a fact. Because God's word said in Psalm 5. That he compares us. He surrounds us with his favor. And when God said, have you considered my servant Job? The devil jumped back and said, yeah, I considered it, but you got a hedge about it. You got, you got favor around him. I tell you what you do, move the hedge, move the favor, and let me attack him. Tell the Lord, thank you. And God put Job on the auction block. God moved the hedge. I wish I had some help up in here. Tell the Lord, thank you. And you know the story. How the enemy, oh God, challenge the faith of Job. Challenge the faith of a man. Tell the Lord, thank you, who was the richest man in the east. But God allowed the devil to strip him. Tell the Lord, thank you. Well, I tell you what, you, you take the hedge and I'll make him curse you to your face. Tell the Lord, thank you. Tell God, thank you. You know the story, the first go around, his wife came and said, Joe, why don't you curse God and die? He said, woman, you talk like a foolish woman. Let me tell you something, men. I'm telling you to help all of you men that's married and love your wives. Be careful how you accept their words as God speaking to you, especially when you have responsibility and accountability. Y'all don't want to hear this. I know I'm right. I know I'm right. I was married for almost 48 years. I know I'm right. You got to be careful. You better make sure that you are hearing the voice of God. Because sometimes you can move. I wish I had some hair. I ain't got no, I don't care. You can move in a direction that's not God's way. Not God's way. Tell the Lord thing. Why did the devil say I'm gonna make I'm gonna make Job curse you to your faith? His wife came to him and said, Job, curse God and die. Tell the Lord, thank you. Didn't it do so? Huh? Didn't it do it? Huh? Say yeah. But God, let everybody say, but God. But God. God kept Job. Hallelujah. The second go round, God kept Job. Tell the Lord, thank you. His faith was challenged. I preach to you people tonight. Oh, praise our God that your faith is going to be challenged. Tell the Lord, thank you. 
But God will hear and your cry and answer your request. Tell the Lord, thank you. Real faith will not stop at the door of adversity. Tell the Lord, thank you. When Jesus was in, I believe, Capernaum, they heard that he was in town and they brought this man that had been uh, paralyzed on a cot for, for Jesus to heal him. Hallelujah. You know the story. Hallelujah. Tell the Lord, thank you. When they got to the door, I can see that usher stand, excuse me, ushers, standing at the door. They use no room in here. You can't come in. Tell the Lord, thank you. But all you need is a glimpse of Jesus. All you need to understand that Jesus has everything that I need to meet the challenges of this life. And the Bible give us to know that they were not stopped at the door. They went up on the top of the house. And you know the story. And they let that man down. You know why? Because they were tired of bathing him. They were tired of taking him to the bathroom. They were tired of keeping him. And they knew that the one way out was to get him to Jesus. My brothers and sisters, when you are experiencing trials and tests and all of the rest, if you can just make it to Jesus and keep the faith and believe God, tell the Lord, thank you. God will see you through. Tell the Lord, thank you. And when they let the man down, I can hear the people saying, look what they're doing. Jesus, do you say, shut up and leave them alone. And when they let him down, Jesus healed him and gave him deliverance. Tell the Lord, thank you. If you can just make it to Jesus. And sometimes you say, if I can just make it to the house of God. Tell the Lord, thank you. And God will. Tell the Lord, thank you. He'll meet you right where you are. Look at somebody and tell them that God is ready to meet you right where you are. Whatever the problem is and whatever the trial and whatever the test might be, Jesus has proved it, that I'll meet you where you are, that I am the answer. He said in his word, don't worry about the world. Be of good cheer because I've overcome the world. Say yeah. And he cried to his disciples, Lo, I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. And you say, Yes, Lord. Tell God, thank you. God has a bring has a way of positioning you and me when we cry out to God and don't allow our faith to waver whatever the test might be and whatever the trial might be say yeah I can testify and I can witness that God will when folk count you out I said when people count you out tell the Lord thank you God doesn't necessarily count you out say yeah you're looking at somebody that God can I testify say yeah stricken with cancer you didn't know it yet walking around preaching and teaching yet visiting the sick yet laying my hands on the sick say yeah I was going through but I knew that the Lord uh, will make a way uh, somehow. Uh, say yeah. Uh, tell God thank you. One day uh, I went to Kentucky uh, and I fell ill. Uh, they took me to the hospital uh, and they said go back. Uh, you got a 24 hour virus. Uh, I went back to the hotel room. Uh, but God spoke in my spirit. Uh, and said, when you get back home, get off that plane, go straight to the hospital. Don't go home 
don't put your briefcase down. You go to the hospital. I obeyed God. Let everybody say obedience. Say obedience. I obeyed. And when I got to the hospital, they triaged me in five minutes. Had me in a room in about 15. They were taking blood in about 20. Tell somebody that's just like God. Say yeah. The blood work came back. The doctor say what I see I don't like. We got to do a CAT scan. Say yeah. Did a CAT scan. The doctor say I got to operate. I got to call the surgeon. You can't think about this. And no second opinion. If you really want to live. We got to operate today. I ain't got no help up in here. Say yeah. I'm talking about troubles. I'm talking about trials. I'm talking about tests. I'm talking about sickness. Say yeah. And they call the surgeon. And the surgeon say I'll be there. They put of the knife huh? say yeah huh? I did not know huh? what had transpired huh? but when I woke up the next day huh? I had a colostomy bag huh? on this side you didn't know it huh? but God knew it huh? my children knew it huh? but I kept on preaching I kept on praying huh? I kept on trusting God huh? say yeah huh? matter of months they call me say yeah and they took that colostomy bag and reverse me you don't hear me I'm talking about trials I'm talking about trials I'm talking about trials and tests trouble and sickness first hand say yeah I had a doctor's appointment. They call and cancel it. But I did not know it. When COVID was at its height. And I went to the doctor. And they said to me. We've canceled your appointment. But God told me. Don't move. Stand right here. At the desk. And you got to go back home. But I waited. Just standing there because the Holy Ghost uh, say stand uh, and wait. I didn't know what I was waiting for, uh, but I stood uh, in obedience. And then the Holy Ghost say turn around uh, and leave. Uh, and when I walked out to go to the door, uh, my doctor, my personal physician, he was not scheduled to be in the building. Glory. But when he saw me, he said, Bishop, go to the west end of the hospital and tell them that I sent you and do the COVID test. I went as he told me. Oh, yeah. I'm talking about God. Do you know him? The God of our salvation. Do you know him? The healing God. Do you know him? The right time in God. Say yeah. I did the COVID test. And that Saturday morning, they called me on the phone. Say, where are you? I say, I'm home. They say, don't you move. We're sending an ambulance for you. Ambulance came, took me to the hospital. Say yeah. I was tested positive 29 days in the hospital. You don't hear me if I had not stood and waited. I'd have missed my doctor. He was not supposed to be there. He told me later. He said, somebody called me and say, I need to come to the building right away. He said, I didn't know why I was going, but God. God, y'all ain't helping me. God, look at somebody and say, God loves you. God 
had him in the right place. Say yeah, yeah. Pastor, they thought that I was going to die. They brought my family and put them out on the, at the window. I was in the hospital. I could look outdoors. And the nurses, they arranged for my family. All of my children, all of my grandchildren, they were out there waving to me goodbye. Mm. I was waving to them goodbye. Good, excuse me, goodbye. Say yeah, but God. Oh yeah, after then, they intubated me. Mm, I was in the intubation for six days. I know some of you might have been longer, but God, I said God brought me out. Yes, he did. The nurses walked in my room and told me after my little God, my little niece, call my family and say we got on a fast for uncle and God told me that he's going to raise him up Easter Sunday morning say yeah oh people oh 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 God raised me up Easter Sunday morning came to myself knew I was sick say yeah yes sir a day later they moved me to a regular room say yeah the nurses came in took off their gear and said bishop you're free of the virus here I am yeah. I'm talking about challenges Say yeah, I'm talking about tests. I'm talking about trial. But God, help me say God. God is a deliverer. God is a healer. God will see you through. Say yeah, say yeah, say yeah. Everyone standing. Everyone standing. Your faith. Your faith. Your faith. When you can't pray for yourself, your faith will have others to pray for you. When you can't fast for yourself, your faith will have others to fast for you. Here I am. Y'all don't want to rejoice with me? Hello. Some folk pronounce death on me. But God didn't pronounce it. Say yeah. God didn't do it. Here I am. Healed from cancer. Healed from the virus. Healed from a GI problem. Healed. Say yeah. Say yeah. Hello. Oh, Look at somebody and say, I'm healed. 
you that might have to go to the doctor waiting for a report appointment in the hospital I'm going to pray for you right now I want you to step in the aisle stay right where you are lay your hands on yourselves Oh, God. I want you to shout it as loud as you can. God is a healer and a deliverer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, heal and deliver in the name of Jesus. You're able to do it. Our faith is challenged. Mm, glory. God, we're looking to you. We're standing on your promises. Oh, God. Come on and thank him for your healing. Come on, come on. Open your mouth. Be healed. Be delivered. Be set free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Be healed and delivered. Say yes. Oh, God. Hey. Hey. If I have anybody in here that believe that God is ministering to you right now, as I take my seat, I want you to just run down the aisle or run across here, and I want you to give God praise and thank him, thank him. Come on! Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your deliverance. Don't be ashamed. Thank him for your deliverance. Thank him for your healing. Thank him for your blessing. Thank him for your touch. In the name of Jesus. Hey, 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 hey.
I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. I'm going to trust in the Lord. How long? in our spirit let's walk by faith I believe that someone here today get ready New Jersey and vicinity join Bishop Kevin E. Knight Sr. Supervisor Dr. Mary E. Wiggins and the New Jersey 3rd Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction for their 28th Holy Convocation 2022, August 24th through the 28th. The Revival Convocation kicks off Wednesday night with the prelate of the New Garden State Jurisdiction is Bishop William T. Cahoon. On Thursday night, join Supervisor Mary Wiggins with a special presentation to the women and also join us for the communion night celebration with a revival message from Pastor James L. Holmes, pastor of the Greater Harvest Evangelistic Church of God in Christ. On Friday night, the revival continues as the weekend kicks off with a double hitter and a national Church of God in Christ headliner. Friday night, it's the chairman of the Church of God in Christ General Assembly and the prelate of the Kansas East jurisdiction is Bishop Lemuel F. Thuston. And on Saturday morning at 9 o'clock a.m., get ready for a Church of God in Christ exclusive chat with the chairman, question and answer session up close, live and in person from Jersey City with Bishop Lemuel F. Thuston for the first time and only in New Jersey 3rd Ecclesiastical jurisdiction. On Sunday at 4 o'clock p.m., it's Unity Day the culmination for the Holy Convocation with Revival Time Anointing and official address from the prelate of the New Jersey 3rd Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction is Bishop Kevin E. Knight Sr. with special guest psalmist IR National Recording Artist Crystal Rucker. All services Wednesday through Saturday will take place at the Heavenly Temple Church of God in Christ 15-21 Martin Luther King Jr. Drive Jersey City, New Jersey, and the official day services will take place at the Wells Cathedral Church of God in Christ, 672 Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in Newark, New Jersey. All services will be streamed live on our Facebook page. For more information, call 201-332-5038. That's 201-332-5038. Or visit our website at nj 3 Jurisdiction. Dot O-R-G. It's Bishop Kevin E. Knight.